how's everybody doing this morning? So I have good news. I think, yeah, so I thought obviously it's going to be good news. Uh, I'm releasing the official schematic of the open hardware flight controller on my forum. And uh, the reason why I'm doing that there is because I want that to be the place where we communicate, discuss ideas, discuss or, or people to share their contributions. It's going to be a nice place that's where everything is and uh where you can get help for whatever someone made or whatever i made or if you had a question about something where i could help you or someone else can help you and this is where i want it to start and um i think it's going to be really great so another thing now you might most of you are like oh we need an osd i have finished the schematic to with the osd and a five volt regulator so i finished another flight controller uh, V2, let's call it, or v, V1 official skeleton, basically, with an OSD and a 5-volt regulator also. Because the first one just had a 3.3-volt MPU-6000 and a microcontroller unit, just a basic, basic skeleton of a flight controller to get it working. However, this new one has the OSD chip and the 27-megahertz resonator for the OSD chip and the 10 ohm capacitors. And, um, you know, building it, actually, doing the schematic for it, reading the data sheet, um, I was able to understand a lot more about the OSD to, in terms of debugging, noise, flickering, you can, you, it's just, I'm going to leave it for a later video once we get into this more advanced. So currently I'm still in the process of making the playlist. We already did part one of the flight controller anatomy and I already showed you the video of me, of the flight controller actually working, which is really nice. However, I can't take it out because it's snowing and, um, yeah. So right now I'm just, just, you know, I was just sitting in the shop yesterday Actually, I stayed up pretty late. I was like, you know what? I'm going to add the OSD. Actually, I added it. But again, I have not tested it because I still need to do the PCB design for the OSD version one with the 5 volt regulator. And it's a lot harder than you might think right now because I'm only constricted to two layers. I'm not constricted, but I want to keep it two layers because I don't want the price to shoot up. And the price won't shoot up that much. Well, I mean, for 10 boards, it'll be 40 bucks if we go to four layers. But two layers for 10 boards, it's five bucks plus the shipping is like 30 bucks. So the other one is 40 bucks plus shipping and probably be up to like 50 bucks. But then that way you're getting them like what each board is costing you five dollars, you know, each PCB, not with everything. But then again, once I get it done, I'm planning on doing uh, what is it called? Uh, kits. So we can do um, uh, DIY kits, I guess. People want DIY kits. We can do DIY kits. And someone who contributes also, it does a really awesome flight controller. Well, I can discuss it with you. We can make them also in the kits and uh, see if we can put them somewhere. Maybe carry them on my shop, try to talk to Banggood. Um, and uh, it'll be really good. Um, Banggood's actually willing to do these things with us. They're actually really excited about the kits I'm making. Actually, I saw the comments the other day. I was actually surprised to see them there. So that's something really nice, you know. Um, but the thing is, we have to keep in mind that the price has to be reasonable. And again, kits will be more expensive than an assembled one because assembly is, is you know, machine assembles it for you. But a kit, you have to get somebody, people to come and, and, you know, count how many capacitors, how many resistors, how many, you know, put them in the bag. And hopefully one of them didn't have an error or missing something. It's not a big deal if it is, but, you know, it's, it's you know, you're waiting, you're waiting, you, you get it and you want to work on it. Next thing you know, it's missing two capacitors. And then you're just like, what? The? You know, it, it, it kind of frustrates you and it'll frustrate me also. This is, I'm, I'm starting, I'm speaking for myself here, how how I would see it. Um, but yeah, where was I going? Where, where the hell did I go? Anyways, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so I released the schematic and I want to see people's contributions. I think it's going to be really interesting. It's going to take some time for stuff to build up, but it's going to be pretty good at the end. Um, I might need some help in the PCB design with the OSD because I had to scratch it or just basically restart four or five times already. I got pretty far on it, but then that's it. I just ran out of traces and I couldn't go anywhere. It's like a game. It's, it's crazy. You know, when you're doing the PCB designing, you have to really think, I mean, the way you, the amount of thinking you have to do for, for tracing or just basically wiring everything on board with two layers is um it's quite challenging and it's quite interesting too uh it's it's more of a puzzle you know after the schematic it's more of a puzzle later and um yeah it's just pretty crazy it's pretty crazy and um hmm. what else do we have i have a lot of things on the way also esc testing i've just been lazy to test them 
I've been busy with other things also. I mean, uh, you know, the open hardware flight controller thing is really important. Then I'm going to go to the F7 dual gyros. Also, we're going to set up dual gyros actually simpler, more simple than I actually previously thought, actually. But we would have to reroute the pins somewhat in order to have it work with this firmware that already has dual gyros until I start writing my own firmware and writing the own firmware is not that difficult. But again, I just don't have time to go play with the firmware right now. So I'm just using whatever I find, basically. I go based upon the route, and then uh, this way it's just easier in the terms of firmware. And um, what else do we have? Hmm. I am planning, okay? Still way too early to say anything. I am planning an ESC, an open hardware ESC. However, we won't be able to run BL Holly 32 because that's closed source. Or maybe, but I I know I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll do a BL Holly S one. Um, that'll be really nice, I think. That'll be pretty, pretty interesting. Maybe you could put an OSD in your ESC. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What the fuck do you need that for? Um, I want to go fly, but I can't go fly. I should make a new waterproof quadcopter. Oh, I got an idea. Why don't I design a special waterproof PCB flight controller? Isn't that awesome? Now you might say, what the hell? How do you, how the hell do you expect to do that? Easy. USB, when you program a USB, we just make it four pads and we can make some sort of external adapter for it. And that's it. Whenever you want to, you know, solder or set up a connector of some sort. A waterproof connector if you could find one. I'm pretty sure there's stuff like that that exists. That would be really good actually. Everything is pads and um, on the bottom maybe. Well, really nice. So, you know, I mean, the, 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 the possibilities are endless, which is really nice. I mean, it won't cost you nothing. I mean, if you have broken flight controllers, basically zero money. I've linked everything that will be needed down below. Um, and um, it's, it's not really much. It's kind of like the first investment into quadcopters. It was a lot because, you know, batteries, charger, goggles, um, receivers, you know, everything. And then after that, it's just, you know you could get an $80 quad and, and that's it. You don't need anything else for it. Same thing here. Once you have everything you need, then all you just what five bucks for 10 boards. You ruin it. Well, I'll just get another one. You ruin it. I'll get another one. Hey, you want me to build it? Oh, your friend's flight controller burned. Like give it, give it to me. You take it. And then you just, you know, do a little transplant, add a little capacitors and little resistors here. And then you got a working flight controller for your friend. Now he doesn't have to wait. Yeah, it could be better than anything on the market. Who knows? No, I'm just kidding. I can be, in a way, after a lot of contrib uh, contrib contributions, it actually, I think it can be. It'll be really interesting. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited. Um, the OSD, the OSD, the OSD, the tracing. I really wanted to finish PCB last night and have it ordered today so I can have it by Monday. But uh, I don't know. I'm going to try to do it. I have a lot of videos to make today, actually. So I have no idea. Anyways, I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, the schematic is open. Go check it out and have fun. Peace out.